हेलो फ्रेंड्स जय श्री राम सिंह हम अगेन एंड भूल भुलैया थी वो दिस मूवीज केम ऑलमोस्ट एट द सेम टाइम भूल भुलैया थी हैड अ लोअर बजट हैड लेस अमाउंट ऑफ स्टार्स एंड स्टिल एट द बॉक्स ऑफिस इट हैज बीन एबल टू डू बेटर एज कंपेयर टू सिंह हम अगेन सो इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल जस्टिफाई दैट भूल भुलैया थी इज डूइंग मच बेटर दैन सिंह हम अगेन एंड आफ्टर दैट we will analyze why this has happened because both of them got released at the same time so festive advantage is not there then what all are the advantages that bhul bhulaiya thi had due to which uh, it is doing much better so let's get started first of all let's go with the facts this is wikipedia and i want to go to bhul bhulaiya and singham so let's start with singham first singham again so when you go to that on the wikipedia page you will see that the budget was 350 to 375 crores now the budget itself was humongous now, recovery is good recovery is almost around 300 crores as of today but the cost of development was too much the release time was uh, 1st of november today is 10th of november that means today is the 10th day so till now the analysis is only for the first 9 days so in 9 days it could recover almost 275 crore indian rupees this is only box office collection i am not uh, getting into the ott collection and all because ott collection will be similar one is getting released on netflix another is coming on uh, amazon prime so it will be almost the same okay got the idea 9 days 275 crores and the budget was uh, 350 to 375 crores now let us go to bhul bhulaiya bhul bhulaiya 3 okay here the budget was almost lesser than 50% actually it's almost 40 to 50% of uh, singham again the budget was only 150 crores and how much could it recover it has already recovered 250 crores which is way beyond its budget and that's why i'm saying that it is doing way better than singham and the release date is the same that is 1st of november so the release date has not changed it's the same only the budget has changed even the collection wise if you see both the movies have almost the same collection in fact singham again has a little more collection uh, singham again's collection was 275 crore and uh, bhul bhulaiya's collection was uh, is uh, as of yesterday actually uh, 250 crores okay so 25 crores lesser than singham but still it is doing far better than singham because the budget was 40 to 50% that of singham and that's why this is a hit movie singham again is a no profit no loss kind of a movie right so that is the difference so first first of all i have explained it to you with the facts that which movie is really doing good now let us start analyzing that why this has happened what is it that singham again did badly and what is uh, what is it that bhul bhulaiya did in a nice way so singham again has a big star cast and it has been a criticism that so many people could not be woven in properly in the story many stars just come and go without making much of an impact on the silver screen that is the problem i mean if you uh, go to a restaurant and if you have too many dishes and you're not able to savor the taste of all those dishes then it doesn't make sense it's a waste right but on the other hand if you see bhul bhulaiya then there are there is a very small star cast most of them are not even stars yet but all of them have a great potential as far as i can uh, see after watching this movie and besides kartik aryan is the blue, blooming star i think he is the rising star of the bollywood industry he is fantastic he has played the character of a gay person he has played the character of a macho young man he has also uh, 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 played the character of a yuvraj and in all the roles he fits fantastically I have the same amount of respect for his acting as I had for uh, Ranbir Kapoor after I saw Animal 
because there also I saw his versatility and I liked it. Similar kind of a respect I have for Karthik Aryan. Besides, have you seen the last uh, song of Karthik Aryan? Have you seen his dance? If you have, then you must be convinced that he is the next star of Bollywood. Maybe after Ranbir Kapoor. But yes, he is the next star. If you look at Singham again, who do you think has impressed you? Except Ranbir Kapoor, I did not find a single person who made an impact in that movie, including Ajay Devgan. I did not like Ajay Devgan's role as well. Kareena Kapoor did a fantastic job, very well done, but Kareena Kapoor's role is very less over here. Deepika Padukone, I did not like her role at all. And same goes with many other critics, many critics, uh, many cinephiles did not like her role. So, even if you took big stars, they were not performing their best. And that's why, due to the efforts put by actors and due to, uh, you know, due to the lack of effort put uh, by the actors in Singham again, uh, Singham again is on the losing end and Bhul Bhulaya is on the winning end. That was reason number one. Now, reason number two that I feel is, the storyline of Bhul Bhulaya keeps you intrigued. You know that uh, somebody is some someone and then uh, that notion, uh, I mean, whatever you were thinking, it is not like that. And uh, then you make some other notion and then once again, it's also falsified. So there is a continuous suspense. And you're always on the edge of your seat because you feel, oh, come on, whatever I was thinking is not happening. And that makes the movie interesting. This is the classic way to make a movie interesting. Whereas in Singham again, you know the plot line. It is Ramayana. All of us have been raised with that, uh, uh, you know, story. We have always known it. The same story uh, you put in a three hours movie. So there is zero suspense, first of all. Now, the only reason why people are seeing the movie is because the Ramayana story is being put in the real world. Uh, I mean, that was also real, by the way. But in today's world, and uh, you have big, big stars enacting various characters. I don't think that is all that interesting as compared to some mystery kind of a story. And that is the reason why. This is the second reason. Mystery versus an already known story and that's the reason why Singham again is not doing so well as compared to Bhul Bhuleya part 3. And the third and the biggest reason that I feel is the lack of conviction. Bhul Bhuleya 3 has a lot of conviction. You look at Karthik Aryan, he is highly convicted, very nicely done. Uh, you see every star in this movie, they have acted with conviction. In Singham again, the direction did not have conviction. Uh, screen theory means everything that the director does, does not have any conviction at all. Music was also not so good. Uh, acting, absolutely bakwas acting, except Ranveer Kapoor. He is a good person. I like this guy. He is the only one who entertained me in uh, Singham again. So these were a few reasons that I feel, means lack of conviction is the third reason. So these are the few reasons that I feel uh, are responsible for Bhul Bhulaya's success and Singham Again's downfall. Now, let me appreciate both the movies for various things that I liked in those movies. I liked Singham Again because Ramayana's theme has never been put in today's present world in such a nice way. I thought that this is a Bollywood movie, they would definitely do something Hindu-phobic, they would definitely ridicule Hinduism, they would definitely hurt the Hindu, Hindu sentiment. Just because it is Bollywood, Bollywood is also called as Karachi wood, Urdu wood, you know what the names uh, uh, Bollywood has earned for itself. But quite surprisingly, this movie has not ridiculed Hindus at all. This movie has actually, uh, you know, solidified uh, or favored uh, the Hindu concept uh, about Ramayana, about the uh, win of good over the evil, very nicely done. The role of Ravana was done very nicely, 
fantastic role but you like that role because no one else acted so nicely and that's why you like uh, that role but yeah it was done nicely besides i would like to congratulate the makers of this film uh, to bring many hardcore leftist people many hardcore pro islamist people uh, to speak in favor of hinduism you have karina kapoor khan uh, doing a fantastic job over here she is speaking in favor of hinduism fantastic i liked it i love to see i just that spectacle of having karina kapoor say something positive about hinduism that was amazing fantastic jan uh, deepika padukone deepika padukone is the same person uh, who went to jnu to support the jnu people uh, during that uh, uh, bharat tere tukde honge inshallah inshallah controversy uh, and she went there to support them well i personally feel definitely godi media fucked up over there and godi media did something wrong and uh, uh, you know deepika padukone did the right thing by supporting the truth and justice but in the heat of the moment at that time even i felt she is an anti national okay and how is it possible for you to gauge what is the correct thing within a day and you go there and support them so situational evidence uh, um, that is there in front of me i feel that you know she does not like hinduism or hindu nationalism so much but because i mean that's completely my perspective i i'm not sure whether that is uh, true or not but uh, it made me feel that you know, within a day you came to know about this ki are are hindus are at fault and muslims are not how how can you make that opinion unless you already have that thing somewhere in your mind that hindus are always bad muslims are always good so i don't treat her as a very nationalist person but then having her in such a nationalistic movie uh, nationalistic in the sense uh, it is based on the ramayana's plot well i'll congratulate the makers of the film to bring her on board for this thing of course she didn't act well i don't know whether she did it on purpose or not but she could have acted well uh, or probably uh, the director must have told her oh you have to be just like uh, uh, lady singham should be just like uh, uh, ranveer kapoor's role well could be i don't know but uh, uh, whatever her acting was pathetic in this movie but to bring her on board on such a project is also great i congratulate the makers of the movie for this and thirdly and the most importantly ranveer kapoor amazing that singham role suits this guy amazingly done he has a lot of conviction he is as good an actor as deepika padukone is but whenever these two people are compared always deepika padukone gets more critical acclaim i don't know why look at her role and look at his role in the same movie and you'll come to know deepika sometimes shines sh sometimes she doesn't shine but this guy has always shined no matter which role he has done you see gully boy gully boy's role he has shined you see singham's role he has shined he shines in every role that he does the only thing is that people somehow don't give him as much credit as he is due so that is about singham again i have appreciated it for so many uh, for these three things now i like to appreciate uh, bhul bhulaiya thi also for a few things first and the foremost kartik aryan's acting his conviction amazing i liked it uh, tripti dimri very nicely done uh, madhuri madhuri dikshit i am also marathi by the way but still madhuri dikshit could not impress me so much uh, Uh, but okay i mean it's 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 great to just see her on the silver screen i'm also a fan boy that that's the only thing but she did not do so well uh, other people also did their roles well of course their roles were small and that's why they could not do much but very nicely done i, I liked all of them uh, direction wise the movie is great everyone did their job properly the, so point number 1 is everybody's conviction i liked it in this movie Point number two is the storyline is really good. Bhul Bhulaiya has always run on the storyline, and especially whenever a story comes from Bengal, usually it runs on the story. You know, they they believe they 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 also believe, and we also believe that you know Bengali stories are amazing. They are great storytellers, uh, and Bhul Bhulaiya again. bulbuleya thi again uh, you know reemphasizes the point that stories coming out of bengal are fantastic 
there are so many twists and turns during the movie that you f- start feeling that i don't know anything let me watch the movie the interest is continued okay so that's one thing i'll really appreciate the story suspense story and suspense and the third and the most important thing is message i appreciate the message of bhulbhule yadri in bhulbhule yadri the message is about lgbtq very nicely done very nicely put see whenever you have an lgbtq situation it is often seen that hinduism is criticized or hinduism is you know looked down upon we are the superstitious people we are the only people who do this we are the worst people in the world that thing has been avoided in this movie because see quite frankly other abrahamic religions have been more worse on the lgbtq community as compared to hinduism but the the only religion that is bashed about it is hinduism and especially by bollywood and that's why many people call it as karachi word uh, but that mistake was not done by bhulbhule yathi of course lgbtq uh, rights have to be uh, you know pushed forward and uh, i'm also in their support that's very good but i also don't want to take all the blame on my community i hate that you know because everybody keeps beating up my community i hate that so as a hindu i liked seeing this movie at least for a change nobody criticized hinduism so messaging was perfect see this is the kind of messaging you should be giving without criticizing hindus you do any messaging i'm okay with it in fact i also believe in your message okay but uh, the only problem is you keep criticizing hindus and then i feel you're nothing better than karachi would uh, but nicely done so i have appreciated both the movies on three three different things uh, i personally feel both the movies are good uh, the only thing that went wrong uh, in uh, singham again is the high budget and excessive stars and those stars also were not committed you take the example of this uh, khiladi khan uh, khiladi kapoor what is his name uh, akshay akshay whatever his name is faltu person yaar i mean he does not have conviction in any of his roles he never shows conviction i don't know why people cast this guy he was casted look at his conviction level third class conviction i mean are you, uh, uh, this kartik aryan has better conviction than this guy and this is uh, uh, this uh, akshay kumar is called as a veteran star uh, how is he a veteran star i don't understand so you took too many stars who were foolish people not convicted people that's the main problem you took deepika padukone disaster she is disastrous in this movie you should just have casted anyone else anyone else could have done this role better and now you are stuck with her because now she is labeled as lady singham and you are stuck with her congratulations i don't think the next part of singham is going to make up uh, the budget i don't think it will be even successful Uh, it won't even be a no profit no loss movie the next singham that will come it will definitely be a flop and the big share of uh, you know this reason is deepika padukone alone she is the worst miscast that you could have ever had in any film pathetic work i like her as an actress i like her as a, uh, a you know social person uh, but i hate this i hated her acting in this movie i don't know whether she did it on purpose or not because she did fantastic job in pathan i liked it in jawan i think in jawan was she there i don't remember but she did good job in a couple of movies and now you see her so deepika padukone is to blame if if the movie uh, if the next part of the movie is flop so that was my honest uh, uh, review uh, do let me know in the comment section whether you agree with it or not um, if i uh, hurt anyone i'm sorry it was not on purpose i was just uh, letting out my raw emotions uh, and just being honest with you until next time this is amit signing off jai shri ram thank you so much for seeing the video till the end it does mean a lot to me could you also please see the video description it has index link to the study material and also if i've shown any products in this video then the purchase links to those products The comment section is open for your suggestions and also for your doubts. I always answer to the first 100 comments on every single video. If you want to support my work, 
Here's my QR code or my UPI ID is amit.shirasa at the rate UPI. Until next time, this is Amit signing off. Jai Shri Ram.